What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ethnicities? This is Doc Redstone here with episode two of Redstone 101. And uh, today we're going to be talking about logical gates and uh, their uses. So anyway, um, first thing we got here is an input gate. And um, it's just the simplest of gates, but it's probably a good starting point. Um, so basically, just a lever connected to some redstone dust connected to a uh, redstone lamp. And so as you can see here, flicking it on turns on the lamp. Flicking it off turns off the lamp. Simple enough. So next we're going to go to a bit more complicated gate, and it's called a NOT gate, and uh, it's kind of like the troll gate, and it's basically an inverter. So as you can see, this red uh, lever is off, and this torch is on, so this is actually on. So it does the opposite of what the lever is. So now the lever's on, but that's off. And now it's off, but that's on. Um, so that's, it's just kind of like a troll gate, to uh, describe it a bit better. Here we have an OR gate, and um, we go ahead and flip either one of these levers, and it turns it on. If you flip both of them, nothing happens. So basically, an OR gate is a gate where the output is on when at least one of these two inputs is on. And actually, it could be more. It could have an input here, input on the top, input underneath. You could have a total of five inputs. One of them needs to be this. So five inputs, and as long as one of them is on, this output right here will be on. The next we have an XOR gate, um, and this gate I used to think was actually entirely pointless, but it's actually a very impressive gate. And an XOR gate is a gate which activates inputs differently. Um, I guess the best way I can do that is showing you. So as you can see, we have two levers here. And normally, if we'd have two levers connected to the same wire, and I'd have a redstone lamp right here, if I ticked one of these, like so, you can see this is on, and tick it again, and it stays on. And so these two interfere with each other. You know, you can't um, turn this off when one of them's on. And that can actually get kind of annoying and so that's what the XOR gates here for so as you can see this redstone lamp is on and if I flip this lever right here it's off and then I can flip this one and it's on flip this one it's off off on etc so basically these two levers will never interfere with each other and I have some examples on some of these gates that may be more confusing later on and why you would actually want to use them so we'll go ahead and we'll look at those in a bit. Um, next, we have a rapid pulser, and I've already showed you guys to this, th or showed you guys this design the other day. And here's the one you guys saw. And as you can see, just launches stuff like no tomorrow, and I just turn off drops. And this one, just a similar design, but uh, or same thing, different design. If I go ahead and break it, oh come on now. This design is not reliable. There we go. Ta-da! So anyway, that's just another example of a rapid pulser. So then we're going to step over here. Um, this is how older style repeaters were done. And uh, then I have it connected to the new repeater. But back in the day, we didn't have these fancy dancy little things that you just place and all of a sudden you can change it up to like four ticks. No, we had to do it this way. And uh, as you can see, I tick it and it turns on, tick it, turns off. Now, we'll go ahead and break these designs, or signs. Now watch this one and watch this one because this old-fashioned repeater is actually slower than the new repeater. So watch here and here. And as you can see, this one actually turns on first before this one because this one uses two torch ticks and this one only uses a one tick so it's actually a tenth of a second quicker which actually once again if you watch makes a noticeable difference you can actually see this one turn on first um, so anyway just some old science for you guys um, next we have an AND gate and AND gates are awesome uh, I use them quite often in scoring systems and whatnot so as you can see, we have this levers right here, and if I flick this one off, this still stays off. 
and if we flick this one off, it still stays off. But if I turn both of them off, this turns on. And this can actually be used very useful um, later on, and I have an example for it. Um, this is a NAND gate, and the N stands for NOT, I'm um, pretty sure. And so it's the exact opposite of an AND gate. So as you can see, it's on, still on, still on, off. That is what an AND gate does. Um, and they are useful as well. If you combine an AND gate and an AND gate, you actually get a decent lever controlled combination lock. And I'll show you guys that in a bit as well. Um, then we have our snore latches. I have three designs here. Um, the reason I showed you three designs is sometimes um, you want them only to be one tall, just like this guy right here. This one's three tall, but it's only one wide. Well, actually two if you consider the inputs. But this one's basically one wide minus the inputs. And this one's too wide, too tall. And uh, sometimes you'll want that as well. So anyway, basically what our snore latches are is if I press this button right here, this torch will turn on. So as you can see, just like that, and if I come over here and press this button, this torch will turn on. So basically, the uh, when you press the button, the opposite of the torch that's on, the opposite will, torch will turn on. So as you can see, this one's off, now it's on, now it's off. And uh, the two inputs may seem to uh, make this actually downside, but it can actually be um, very, very useful. And exact same thing over here, on, now oh, this torch is on. So now we're going to go over a few examples. Um, we're going to start off with just a NOT gate or an inverter, because they can be extremely useful. So here I have pressure plate connecting to this redstone which connects to this block which connects to this torch and some pistons so as you can see the pistons are blocking my path and by default they are extended and uh, that's basically the purpose of the knot gate you want a door um, to be for example this would be extended but if I just put a door here it'd be by default the door is open but uh, it's very useful with pistons and so I go ahead step here the door opens and as soon as I step off it closes and uh, it's actually one way. You could make this two way, but right now it's just one way. So this is why the NOT gate is extremely useful. Now we have the XOR gate, which seems kind of like a useless gate. And uh, we'll pretend for a second that this actually would keep people out, which it wouldn't. But if you go ahead and you flip this lever right here, you can see that the door opens. And then you can come in on the inside flip this lever and you can see the door closes and then say you just come outside you just come out from your base you go ahead and flip this lever once again the door is open flip this lever the door is closed um, now many of you know if I would just put two lever or two yeah have two levers and have them connected just with like a single line of dust right here as you can see this one's powered so the door is open and if I come over here and tick it nothing happens because the levers are in interfering with each other but uh, because of the XOR gate I can go ahead and prevent the levers from interfering with each other and create a pretty cool open and closed door and uh, the only other way that you could do this was with a T flip flop um, but this design is actually um, I prefer this over T flip flops when I don't have to use them now next we are going to do a combination of things with an AND gate and a NAND gate now here we have five levers and we have a redstone um, lamp. As you can see, if I go ahead and just flip all these levers like so, nothing happens. But if I flip the levers in a secret combination that I think I don't remember, there we go, then you can see that uh, the torch turns on. But as soon as I flip anyone that's not part of that combination, then it will go ahead and turn off the torch. Um, and basically, we just have right here, these three torches operate as an AND gate, and the two blocks that don't have torches are a NAND gate, and that's how this works. Finally, we have the RS snore latch design, combined with, of course, the NOT gate design. And you may wonder why you'd want to use an RS snore latch. Well, this is why. So I step over this pressure plate right here, 
and this door is staying open no matter how many times the door is always open and if I walk over it again no matter how many times I walk over it nothing will happen I can walk over it countless times nothing happens but as soon as I come through step on the other pressure plate you can see the door will close and then as long as many times as I step over this one nothing happens and so it's another nice one-way door design um, as you can see step it stays open lets me get through step and close so that's what a uh, our snore latch is good for so anyway these are just some basic gates and now you guys are mediocre in redstone after watching this video I hope and uh, I'll keep putting these out until you guys can get to the advanced level so anyway this has been Doc Redstone thank you all for watching like always rate comment subscribe thanks y'all peace out